Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Nobufurgo Studio and today I'm going to teach you guys how you can import mp4s and export mp4s in OpenTunes. So doing this is an essential part of the animation process because sometimes when we're animating we want to import reference and we want to export in certain formats to into our video editor. So this is actually really important for everyone using OpenTunes. Um, which is why I'm including it as a Friday video. So, you know, and beginners can do this, advanced users can do, should do this, advanced users should definitely do this if you're planning to use OpenTunes for anything serious. So, right here we're on the fmmpeg.org website. Now, basically, if you install whatever we get here into OpenTunes, you'll be able to import MP4 and I believe GIF files and I think um, MP3 files as well as an audio. And then you'll be able to export. And those files as well. I think you, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure if you can export in MP3, but there could be a way to do it. I have seen an export soundtrack option in OpenTunes. If I'm wrong, correct me down in the comments. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get this and we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys today how you can link FMMPEG to OpenTunes so you can import your reference and export in the desired file format that you want to. Because not everyone likes AVI, believe it or not. So, what we're going to do here is I'm on a Windows machine. Oh, by the way, this is fmmpeg.org. The link will be in the description so you guys can um, get it easily without having to search for it. We're going to hover down to get package and executable files. Now, depending on what OS you're running, I'm running Windows. I'm going to go to the Windows EXE files. Um, Linux is over here and Mac is over here. I'm going to hover over to this. I'm going to click Windows Build by Zeranoway. So I'm going to click that and it's going to bring me here. I'm going to click the 64-bit architecture. If you don't know what architecture you have, assume 64-bit because we're in 2020. However, you can check this in Control Panel. I think it's in System Settings. So, so you go to Control Panel, System and Security, and then hit System. And then it'll show you the, the system type. Mine is a 64-bit operating system with a 64-bit base processor. So based on that, you'll know what to download. So I'm going to hit 64-bit and hit Download Build. Since I've already done that, I'm going to go to my desktop where I placed it. It'll be in your download fo Downloads folder. It's going to look something like this. Click this. Go to... I have ZZip installed. If you guys have WinRAR, you can do this as well. I believe you can also do it with Windows. Um, hit Extract Files. Uh, hit OK. Now we got this um, folder open opened up here. And we're gonna double double click on this, go into it, click on this. We want to pay attention to the bin folder here. Now you open this and you'll see FMMPLEG, FF Play, and FF Probe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these, hit copy, right? And then we're gonna navigate over to where we want to put where we want the directory for OpenTunes to find these is. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a sec. And as you can see, I've created a folder called FMMPEG. You can just right click and hit new. Um, I just created that myself. Double clicked on it, and then you see this thing right here. What you actually have to do is I'm going to right click, hit paste, and I'm going to replace the one in this destination. You have to paste all these files in this directory that you want OpenTunes to find. You want everything in the bin folder right here because that will allow you to import um, MP3s and MP4s. With just FMMPEG, you can only export an, F F an mp4 I believe so so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna link the fmmpeg that we downloaded into OpenTunes file preferences import export so fmmpeg path you see this right here click the three dots and now we're gonna send it to where I just installed my fmmpeg um, this is in a different folder I did the same thing in um, but I'm gonna show you in the soap folder that we just did go to the computer OpenTunes fmmpeg and you'll see that we had the three files in here, but it's going to show up blank here. So hit choose. I'm not going to hit choose because I already have my thing set. And then you're going to restart the program. So I don't have to restart since I already did this. But basically, after you restart, you're going to hit render. And just to check if it worked, go to render, go next to name, um, the file type, and you'll see MP4 as well as GIF which is awesome. And then one other thing that you'll be able to tell if it's working, um, definitely test this, is to import an MP4 into OpenTunes. You're just gonna drag it um, right from your desktop right into the timeline, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I have this fire from Pexel's video. I'm just gonna import and drag and drop it. I'm gonna hit load from its original location. It could take a while depending on the quality of the video, but definitely do this so you can test that your FMMPEG is working. There we go, so our, my FMMPEG is definitely working. Um, you definitely want 
to test this because before I couldn't import videos, meaning I couldn't import my reference, which was um, very tedious because as an animator, you need to have reference um, for every shot in order for your animations to look believable. So um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Definitely do this. Um, I wish there was a way I can get everyone to see this. Um, sadly, I cannot force everyone to click on this video because it's so important to <laughs> have this feature in OpenTune so you can import your reference and you can export in a, in a file format that most video editors will accept. Also, using the MP3 sounds is very useful in OpenTunes. Downloading stuff on the internet, you're not always going to get WAV files. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I really hope this helped you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Any further questions that need explaining, join my Discord channel. I can. We have a whole questions channel on there where I can answer your questions with GIFs, photos, and screenshots as well. So with that said, guys, thank you so much. Um, look forward to what's coming up on the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.